Speaking of piss... Speaking of piss, sometimes uh, when when puppy, puppies aren't potty trained yet, they might have a little accident. And speaking of puppies, me and Ethel went to go see some puppies yesterday. We found these puppies on online from a shelter that is located somewhere in LA. And we were just like, we just saw their pictures and a video of them and we fell in love and we're like, bro, we have to go see these guys. And we put in an application and I was so worried. I like, I like filled out this huge application. Like it, it took me like a couple hours to finish it because I was I wanted to be very thorough and present myself as like a very a very good responsible dog owner as much as I could. And I sent it in, and I was just thinking like, there's no way they're gonna accept me. Like they they're gonna think I'm a weirdo. Like I live in an apartment. It's probably not the best. Uh, set up for a dog but we, we have a, like a spacious place like we have like a lot of room and we work from home so we have plenty of time and energy to commit to taking care of a, a little guy so i was just sitting there thinking like man i'm probably not gonna hear back for a while and i get this like notification pretty much like 20 minutes later on my email and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, is maybe it's just like, oh, we ex we read your application and we'll get back to you later. No, the lady contacted me back, probably because she's just so like eager, like, holy shit, there's someone like a prospective adopter for these those little puppies. And she's like, yo, uh, I read your application. Everything looks good. If you'd like to come visit them and see if they'd be a good fit for you here, let me uh, schedule something for you. And I was like, holy fuck, like she actually. She actually accepted us! And the the weirdest thing is like right after I read this email, I look out my window, the sun is out, and it's just like pouring rain, and there's this huge fucking like the hugest rainbow, a huge double rainbow even, going across the sky. Oh my god. Just like stretching like from one side of the world to the other. And I'm like, holy fuck, maybe. Maybe today could be really chill. This is a good sign. Like, this is gonna be a good-ass day. And then, that was the day that I... <laughs> that I was able to get, finally get my fucking Adderall prescription, too. So it was just, like, a good sign. And then, we scheduled to go meet them yesterday. Wait, let me turn on my music a little bit. I'll show you guys the pictures of them. Hopefully this doesn't show anything bad. Hopefully... Hopefully you guys don't see anything bad. Okay. I'll pull up. Let me slip into my, my little train cabin too. He wanted it to show us the double rainbow, but he was scared the scout would show where you lied. It, it definitely... It would have shown everything bro <laughs> like i i feel so bad i took so many pictures and it looked so cool but there's no way i could show it even cropping it it would show stuff it's bad <laughs> but you'll just have to you'll just have to imagine it it was beautiful like the clearest rainbow i've ever seen clear two rainbows <gasps> oh yeah i gotta take my hat off because i'm indoors ah, there we go yes it's bad bad manners to wear your hat indoors we must be very mannerly. Here, I'll show you the puppies. Let's take a look, see. At the puppies. Okay. Let me double check. Make sure. Okay, I think it's fine. I don't think it's showing anything. Okay. So, these are the two puppies. Uh, this is one of them. Their names are Bricks and Pretzel, and they're Dachshund, Border Collie, and Shepherd mix, which is like the most bizarre mix I've ever seen. Apparently, the mom is a Border Collie Dachshund mix, and she looked like the sweetest old soul. And they they're unsure like specifically what the dad was, but they're just guessing that probably maybe like German Shepherd, just because of the way they look. Like they look very German Shepherdy. Like their coloration and their like little ears and stuff. They're so cute. Bro. I like, I found them online just like 
I've been searching petfinder and adoptapet.com literally every day for the past few months just looking for dogs and these guys popped up and I was like holy shit like these are like they look so weird but like so cute <laughs> like I read the description and they're just like oh there's there's seven weeks old and the, the mom's a border collie dogs in the mix and they're very like friendly and happy and outgoing and healthy and stuff and I was like oh my god these these could be so cute so we looked into them more, I sent in the application, they accepted it and we went to go see them yesterday and holy shit, like they, the rescue organization they work out of like a private residence and they have like a cute little setup with like a nice little outdoor area I think they do like dog training too they have like a bunch of training stuff there and they had a few other dogs there at the time which is nice cause for puppies, it's really good for them to get experience with like all different kinds of stuff for like socialization like just making sure that they can get along with other dogs of all different kinds of sizes and shapes and people and everything and all kinds of stimuli it's really good for their development and yeah they just seem like a really like caring organization and the lady that uh came out to meet us with the puppies was really really sweet like she was just like uh really nice like typical like dog lady like she she was very chill and this is the weirdest pronunciation dog dog dachshund dachs dachshund it's dachshund right like dachshund doxy dox dox hound this dog is gonna dox you this dog is gonna find where you live <laughs> look out look out yeah, they, I think they have like, uh... Maybe... I don't know whose kid. There's like a kid in the video that was playing with them. So it, it's good for them to get used to like... Different types of people, if that makes sense. For like socialization. Just to make sure like... When a puppy is in like the... Like a few weeks old to like 12 weeks of age. They're pretty much like a sponge. And it's really important to expose them to all kinds of stuff just to make sure that later in life that they don't become like fearful or like unsure of different things like even something as simple as I don't know someone coming in who is wearing a hat like if a dog has never seen that before they're gonna be freaked out so there's just like all kinds of stuff you need to be aware of when it comes to that kind of thing but yeah I just I, I have experience with like uh training dogs and stuff and it's just really fascinating and fun to me I just like, I like, uh, helping puppy development. Yeah, just like, just like humans. Yeah, puppies are pretty much like, uh, as helpless and dumb and spongy mentally as a baby. <laughs> they, they need a lot of training. They need a lot of love and socialization to make sure that they are, they're well-rounded. <laughs> oh my god, it's beautiful, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, she she brought them out, and she was just like holding both of them in her arms. They're so tiny. Like, they... I did not know how tiny they were. I think it's just because they're so young. I think they're about eight weeks old. But they're very, very small. And they were just like romping around, like playing with each other. And she set them down on the ground, and they instantly like ran up to us and started sniffing us and like jumping up on our legs and eating our shoes and it was so cute and uh the girl her name is pretzel she has like the pointy ears the boy's name is bricks he has the the floppier ears he's on the, the right here the boy is definitely more rambunctious and more of like the lady said he's like a party boy and i i could definitely uh see that <laughs> he he was very very mischievous he was down the clown and the the girl his sister is like more reserved but like still like super outgoing and playful she actually like she ran up to me with her like little she has stubbier legs than the boy because i think she's got like a little more of the the dachshund jeans in her and she just like <laughs> came up to me and put her like two front paws on my leg and stared up at me with like the cutest puppy dog eyes i've ever seen and i knew at that moment it was fucking over for me i lost i went into that like you know you have to be like a responsible adult and now i understand what every parent goes through when they take their kids to go like see 
animals or like any kind of like pet that they're thinking about bringing into their family and the kid is just instantly like oh mommy can we take him home can we take him home i i feel for them now because holy fuck she like the, the girl like oh it was just like in that instant i felt my heart just like give out i i was useless i'm a complete fucking sucker they're so cute they're both equally cute and like we debated amongst ourselves for a while over like which one would be a better fit but right now we're definitely leaning towards uh pretzel the girl just because i don't know she's just like i guess we bonded with them a little bit more and she just seems more chill and like more i don't know more suited to like our our lifestyle i guess but i know for a fact that like any puppy that's in like a like a dog rescue situation or like a shelter they're gonna fly off the shelves bro like people people adopt the hell out of puppies because like people love puppies puppies are cute and like older dogs are the ones that are more like it's sad but like people don't want to adopt older dogs because I, I definitely understand because I'm the same way. It's like you only have like a few a few years left with them and it, it can be hard. It, it's taxing on the heart to like fall in love with an animal, bring it into your family and know that they're already like pretty old and you won't have much time with them. It, it takes like a special kind of person. Someone who's like a lot more selfless than I am. I'm very selfish and I'm... Uh, I'm more of a mind like I for my situation I need a I want a puppy to raise up and have as much time with them as possible and make the most out of it. Maybe later in life I would definitely adopt like older dogs when I'm more like uh, emotionally hardy. But I could not I could my heart could not survive having to part with a, an older dog like that. But yeah, puppies get adopted so fast. I was honestly so scared that like th these dogs would be gone already before my adopt adoption application even got read so i know like regardless of whichever one we pick to take home if we do the other one will probably immediately be adopted too honestly like i wish <laughs> i wonder if we could just like convince henry to adopt one of them too <laughs> well that that'd be dumb but yeah i we, we bonded a lot and like feel like the the girl is definitely more our speed but they're they're both super fucking cute they're they're really really cute and there's there's no way in hell they won't immediately get adopted they're they're both super cute we cannot take two dogs home especially not two two puppies maybe in the future we could get a, a second dog maybe like years down the road but right now we need to be a, a single dog especially a single puppy you cannot... Bro... Puppies are a ton of fucking work. Imagine two puppies and people will say like... Well, if you get two, they just kind of... They kind of balance each other out. They'll like take care of each other. It doesn't work that, that way. It does not. It doesn't... With cats, it's different. Cats actually like are way better to get... Like together as like a bonded pair. They actually like... That works out a lot better than getting like two dogs at the same time. But yeah twice the amount of poop and twice the amount of potty training and twice the amount of everything you're gonna separate siblings damn do you think they are going to spend the rest of their lives having vague flashbacks to days of yore when they pranced around <laughs> with their sibling just kidding ha ha no ha, need to ha. feel guilty and adopt both smile bro that's it's, it's that's not how it works that's not how it works at all Puppies you guys had mentioned that you wanted to forget take their litter mates pretty them. fast. So can we see the little rascals? <laughs> They're very young. These are like eight weeks old. Think about it. When we were playing World of Warcraft, these dogs didn't even exist anymore. I mean, <laughs> didn't even exist yet. They were a twinkle in their mommy's eye when we were... <laughs> yeah, sorry. I ate both of them. We can't adopt either of them now. I forgot to mention... Uh, spoiler alert. Once we went to meet them, I was too hungry. We hadn't had the IKEA meatballs yet, and I just I ate both of them. I'm sorry. 
If you hear any like whimpering or dog barking echoing, it's uh it's in my stomach. I just was too hungry. But yeah. It, it's sad to think about like separating a puppy from its litter mates in any situation, but they're very, very young. They're very, very young. It's a it's a normal thing. And they they will be okay. They will be perfectly fine. <laughs> they're not gonna be like maybe for like the first few weeks. I, it's normal for like a dog to not be used to being separated from like familiar stuff like its litter mates because they grew up together, so it's natural. But over time, when dogs get older and they get acclimated to, I don't know, living with their their human people or like their new environment, their new friends, it will be okay. Giving dogs PTSD, yeah, we're going to traumatize these dogs by by severing their their very strong bond that they forged what over these are special uh, precocious seven weeks. Beings? What if these are special precocious beings? Are you saying they're like indigo child dogs? I would believe that. They look very like they have like a very human look behind their eyes, especially Pretzel. Pretzel just looks like. Pretzel looks like she knows the mystery behind why we're all here. And she can't say anything about it because she's a dog and she can only bark. Doesn't doesn't she look aware? <laughs> it's so funny. Like they literally are just me and Aethel in dog form. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> Cause like the boy dog is like super like boisterous and like rambunctious and outgoing and like kinda <laughs> Like, like a party boy and like the girl dog is just like screaming all the time. <laughs> this is like, she looks so, she looks so anxious in this picture, but then when we went to go meet them, they were both super chill. She was like super friendly and just kept like prancing up to us and like putting her paws up on us. We held them too. I'm so, oh God, I'm so jealous. I, I held uh, Briggs and he was so fucking cute, but Abel got to hold Pretzel and she was like licking his face and she was like looking at us both with her little eyes, little puppy dog eyes. Bro, I, I was heartbroken when we had to go. That was like part of the reason like I was like walking through Ikea like, oh my god, my fucking, my IRL stream is messed up because the signal is shit and everyone's gonna be disappointed and I, I want to go pet the puppies again i miss the puppies <laughs> so i just went home and i was just like laying in the dark in my bed thinking about puppies and thinking about how sad i was that i couldn't stream <laughs> pretzel got her adderall <laughs> bro she looks locked the fuck in <laughs> oh yeah here's a video of them i think it shows the the mommy too here let me pause this Bro, I have watched this video so many times. I am like that fucking meme of Ryan Gosling from that that fucking movie, you know. You don't know the one. The very famous movie that I somehow forgot the name of, I almost called it Cyberpunk. Blade Runner, yeah, from yeah, 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 I knew the name. I definitely knew the name. Yeah, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is there an ad? Here, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Let me let me know when ad is done. I'll use this ad break to tell you guys something very Did very you guys important. Get pics of you guys meeting them that you wanted. Also, what are the next? That's the other then? thing, bro. We were both so like we were mystified by how cute they were, and we were just like focusing on like petting them and like chilling with them, playing with them. That we did not really get a chance to take our phones out and take a picture. We were just truly living in the moment. He he tried to get some pictures, but they were I think they were all like pretty blurry, and you let them hit the vape. Yeah, we were like passing around the the blinker tin with them, just like. Blunt rotation kind of shit. Just like talking like about you. life. Bricks is a demon off the vape and vodka and pretzel feels like Ruby <laughs> Doo when she's off the Adderall. <laughs> Ruby Doo. <laughs> Rut roll reggae. <laughs> so yeah, um, we're... I'm not gonna say anything for certain. Please don't. Nothing's written in stone, but we are very heavily leaning towards adopting one of these puppies. We, uh, I was gonna start my stream at like 3 p.m., and part of the reason why I'm like an hour late is because me and Ethel were just like talking about it and we were trying to come up with... I know we're so fucking far gone now because we were like... 
<laughs> we're doing the thing where we're just like passing the soccer ball around in the living room and just shooting the shit. And he was just like, oh yeah, we gotta... We gotta come up with names, don't we? Because I don't really want to keep the name Pretzel. Let's, let's, let's just start brainstorming some names. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, let's look up. And we're just like on our phones, like looking up like, what would be a good name for like her? Because she kind of looks like a bat. Maybe like a vampire name. Or like maybe we could do like, oh, bro, let's do like a Bloodborne name. Or like a Lord of the Rings name. <laughs> we're, we're fucked, bro. We, we, this dog is already in our home, like mentally. Not paying rent. It's fucked up. I don't want to... Okay, I don't want to say anything is like sandstone, but... I do... I do want to brainstorm some names. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Some of the ones we came up with... Before... There is a... Witch King... Angmar... <laughs> or something. Oh, Pierogi. That would be cute. Like a food name. Yeah, we were trying to come up with like some like ancient wizard type of names or like something like really distinguished like an old fucking author barkovsky oh yeah here's the video by the way the witch king of angmar <laughs> yo bro we came up with like we were like we should name her batman <laughs> and call her bruce wayne another one was we were gonna name her amy z dala after amygdala from bloodborne the commonal socks are ball. Does whoever has it share their feelings and the other can only interrupt if they steal it back. <laughs> like in therapy where you pass the talking pillow. Oh my god, bro. Look at her. She is so cute. <laughs> Kill me. No, I'm fucking... It's over. It's fucking over. Oh, man. If we don't take this dog home, I think there's gonna be a part of my heart just permanently tarnished. Oh my god, she's so cute, bro. Look at her pointy ears. They're so cute. Yeah, Lady Maria of the Astro Clock Tower. That was one of my ideas for names. And uh shit, what else did we come up with? Um I asked him and he said we should uh, brainstorm some names with chat. So I'm I'm down if you guys want to do a brainstorm sesh. Because I got to make like a big Google Doc of names. <laughs> outsourcing? No, it's not outsourcing. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, communism. It's our dog. So we're, we're all going to name it. Sylvanus, like in World of Warcraft, I considered a World of Warcraft name. I don't know if it'd be too too nerdy. But let's face it, we're we're way too nerdy. We're completely fucking tarnished. So Sargeras, Lord of the Burning Legion. <laughs> the Goth. Oh, yeah. I don't. We don't care if it's like a boy name or a girl name, cause like she's a dog. Dogs don't really have gender, so it doesn't fucking matter, so... <laughs> Sky's the limit. We thought, like, Seif would be too on the nose. But, like, they're literally a dog. Uh, Dr. Peanut Butter is, like, one of the big ones. We really want, like, a, like a really distinguished, official-sounding doctor name. <laughs> 